Hi everyone, welcome to First the Coffee Crochet. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to make the lemon peel dish towel pattern. This pattern does have a matching dishcloth pattern and that's the lemon peel stitch dishcloth and I will leave a link for that down in the description below. This dish towel is made using the lemon peel stitch throughout most of the pattern and to do that all you need to know how to do is do the single crochet and double crochet and it also uses the half double crochet in two small sections of this pattern. To make this stitch towel you're going to need a total of about 230 yards of a medium number four weight cotton yarn and if you choose to use two colors it's 200 yards for the first color and 30 yards for the second color. You'll also need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, a yarn needle, a pair of scissors, and stitch markers if you would like to use them to keep track of your rows. This pattern is written in US terms and the initial chains at the start of the row do not count as a stitch. And if you want to change the size of the dish towel, to change the width the initial chain just needs to be an odd number and if you want to change the height you would just need to add more rows of the lemon peel stitch. The finished size is 13 inches wide by 18 inches tall and as always there is a written version of this pattern available and I will leave a link for that down in the description below. Okay, to start out you're going to want to make a chain of 45. Once you have your foundation chain made we're going to be doing single crochets all the way across for row one and we'll be starting in the second chain from the hook here. Now I do like to work in the back bump but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can work in the top of the chain. And once you're done with row one that'll give you a total of 44 stitches. For a single crochet just insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. After you've completed row one for row two we're going to start going into doing the lemon peel stitch and we will be doing that through row seven. So to start out you'll want to chain one and then turn your work and then starting in this first stitch we're going to do a single crochet and then in the second stitch we're going to do a double crochet. So that's just yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through the remaining two. And then in the next stitch do another single crochet and then in the following stitch do a double crochet. Now that we're going to repeat this all the way down the row, just a single crochet and then a double crochet. And the last stitch of the row should be a double crochet stitch. And then you'll just repeat the same thing up through row seven. After you've completed row seven, instead of finishing off the stitch this way, if you're choosing to change colors, I'm going to pull that back out. You want to stop your last double crochet right before you do the last loop. Go ahead and grab your second color and this is going to be what you want to put on your hook to finish off your last stitch of row seven. Now going into row eight we're going to be doing half double crochets all the way across. So you'll just chain one and then turn your work And then starting in this first stitch, we're just going to do a half double crochet. All that is is just yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. And you're just going to do this in each stitch all the way across. And you'll repeat this for rows 9 and 10 also. So rows 8, 9, and 10 are just going to be half double crochet stitches in the second color. At the end of row 10 on your last half double crochet don't finish off that stitch because we'll be going back to our first color. Go ahead and grab your first color again and put that onto your hook and pull that up through for the last part of that stitch. Okay, now for rows 11 through 45 we're going to be going back into doing the lemon peel stitch here. So you'll chain one and turn your work. Okay, 
and then starting in this first stitch we'll do a single crochet and then in the next stitch do a double crochet then a single crochet and double crochet just repeat that alternating single crochet and double crochet all the way across and you'll repeat this four rows 11 through 45. when you're at the end of row 45 don't finish off your last stitch because we'll be going back into our second color okay so after you've completed row 45 just as before don't finish off your last stitch and go ahead and grab your second color and what we'll be doing for the next three rows is half double crochet again so you'll just put your second color onto your hook and just pull that through and then just as before for the half double crochet rows chain one and then we're going to turn our work and starting again in this first stitch we're going to do half double crochet we're going to do half double crochet in each stitch all the way across for the next three rows so that's rows 46 47 and 48 at the end of row 48 we're going to go back into our first color again so just don't finish off that last stitch go ahead and grab your first color put that onto your hook and pull that through to finish off the stitch for rows 49 through 54 we're going to go back into doing our lemon peel stitch again so you'll just chain one like before and turn your work and then starting in this first stitch do a single crochet and then in the next stitch double crochet and then just alternate single crochet and double crochet and we'll be doing this up through row 54. okay so after you complete row 54 for row 55 we're going to be doing single crochets all the way across and that'll be the last row so you'll just chain one turn your work and start in this first stitch here just do a single crochet and do that in each stitch all the way across and once you're done with this row you can go ahead and fasten off and weave in your ends if you like these tutorials and want to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified as new ones come out.